is just like American, only without swing rows. The last step of the dance is to back or down side reach on your right, the leg getting away from your long wall, skating around the corner. I step from the left onto the right, I lean inside of the circle, I am slightly twisted inside of the circle, my free leg is turned in parallel with my standing leg. Then I bring my feet together at the end of the curve, I change the lean and I change the twist and I push off and the inside edge, sending my foot away from the circle, letting it leave the circle, staying parallel with my standing leg and I create the lean over my new circle which is to my left, so my blade stays on an outside edge. Then I rise, keeping the lean, turning my free leg out, and I keep that lean as long as I can, so my blade stays on an outside edge. Then I roll over from my left shoulder to my right shoulder, turning my head, so I can step onto that same circle, leading inside of that circle, with the same hand as my standing leg in front. Then I come up, bringing my feet together, keeping my free leg straight, creating the twist into the circle, and then I turn my blade, keeping my upper body with the circle, rebending my knee, and then I push onto an outside edge knee inside of the circle, which is to my left, allowing that left outside edge bring me back to the wall, making sure that my heel points at the wall, or my blade is perpendicular to the long wall, then I bring my feet together, I change the twist and lean, and I push onto my right outside edge, pushing off my left inside. My foot leaves the floor, my leg stays extended, pointed, and parallel with my standing leg's foot. Then keeping the lean, I rise, bringing my uh, heel to the middle of my foot, I turn my leg out, and then I roll from my right shoulder to my left shoulder, pushing forward to an outside edge with my left hand guiding me, facing away from the circle. And then I come up and I twist into the circle. When I'm halfway there, my blade turns, I rebend, and then I repeat the same sequence again. Now, why do we come up in waltzes? Why do we come up for three turns? When, when people dance waltz on the floor, they go down and up, down and up. So they're creating that wave, right? And that's and that's the distinct distinguish of wall style. You have to create the wave through the pattern of your dance when you do it on the floor. If you watch ballroom dancers doing standard walls, that's how they do it. So we are trying to recreate it on the X. The only way for us to do it is by pushing on onto the bend leg and then come up and turn on the straight leg and then re-bend as we push onto the bent leg again. Now, if we keep our free legs bent when we come up, it simply doesn't look good, doesn't look organized. We're, everything is a little thrown around in space and we are not together with our center. It looks much better when we bring our feet together, keeping our legs straight. Number one. Secondly, if my free leg is straight as it goes down, it gives me an incentive to come up. Because the only way for me to bring my feet together if my free leg is straight, it's to come up. So that's why we're doing it the way we're doing it. We push onto the bad leg, our free leg leaves the floor, it extends and turns out. And then as we come up, bringing our free leg extended to the standing leg, we twist our upper body, we turn, we bend and then we push back onto the other foot, okay? So now, we get to the three turns. We have to get from one corner to the other. So we have to cover quite a distance and we have only four three turns to cover that space. So how do we do that? So I push, keeping my upper body vertical when I step forward and then I twist into the circle keeping my blade on an outside edge. Now, when I step onto the back or outside, so I finish my free turn, right? I face the circle as I push onto the back or outside. Again, keeping myself almost vertical, forcing my blade to stay on a straighter line. And then I, as I come up, pushing my hips forward, not only gives me a nicer line, 
but it also allows my blade to stretch its edge, taking me a little further, helping me to cover that width of the X, getting me from one corner to the other. So I push with the same hand as my standing leg, being vertical. Then I come up, keeping my leg straight, twisting into the circle. Then once my upper body is almost inside of the circle, I turn my blade, I rebend, I keep my upper body with the circle, I push back, following my right arm. Again, I'm trying to step with the same hand as my, as my arm. And then I come up, pulling my hips forward, turning my three legs out, leaning inside of the circle, which helps me to extend the edge, covering a little more space. And then I roll from my right shoulder to the left shoulder as I step forward. And then again, I step with the same, pushing with the same shoulder, sending my hips forward, keeping myself vertical. So my blade covers a little more space. And then I come up and I twist into the circle. Once I'm halfway there, I turn my blade, I leave my arms with the, with the circle. So my shoulders and my arms are all with the circle. I push with the same hand guiding as my stimuli, which in this case is my right foot. And then I come up, pushing my hips forward, leaning inside of the circle, turning my leg out so my heel goes to the middle of my foot. Then I roll over and I push forward onto my left foot. So let's go from the beginning of the dance to the end. So we start with the last step. We prevent over our left foot, we push them to the right. Our upper body is leaning and inside of the circle and slightly twisted inside of that same circle. I bring my feet together, I change the lean and twist, I push off an inside edge onto my left outside. My pushing leg leaves the floor and it's parallel with my standing leg's foot. Then I come up pushing my hips forward, leaning inside of the circle, turning my hip out and then I roll forward to my other shoulder so I step onto my right foot with the right hand guiding me. Then I come up, keeping my three legs straight. I twist into the circle. Halfway there, I turn my blade. Then I pre-bend, keeping my feet together. Then I push into the next outside edge, allowing my right foot to leave the floor from the inside edge and stay uh, parallel with my standing leg. I lean inside of the circle. I bring my feet together, I change the lean and my, uh, my lean and my twist, I push them to the next outside edge. And I repeat here the same I did previously. I lean into the circle, I rise, keeping my three legs straight, my heel goes to the middle of my foot, I keep the lean inside of the circle, then I push them to my left foot with my left hand in front, then I come up and I twist inside the circle, I pre-bend after the turn, then I push them to the other foot, I bring my feet together, I change the lean, I push into my other foot, I come up and I bring my heel to the middle of my foot, turning my hip out, I step forward with my right hand guiding me, I come up and I twist, bringing my feet together, one step together, I turn and I rebound, and then I go back to the wall, and now I have left with four three turns. So I enter my first three turn on my right outside edge. I push back with the same hand as my stimuli. Then I come up, pushing my hips forward, turning my three legs out, leaning inside of the circle. Then I roll over to my left side, and I push forward, keeping my upper body vertical with my left hand in front as I'm pushing into my left foot. Then I come up and I twist inside of the circle as my upper body is halfway there. I turn my feet, I pre-bend, I turn my foot, I pre-bend, and again I push back leading with the same hand as my standing leg. And then I repeat the same thing again. I push, I come up, and I lean into the circle. My free leg turns out, my heel goes to the middle of my foot. Then I pre-bend and push forward with my left hand in front. Then I come up, keeping my free leg straight. I twist inside of the circle, halfway there, I turn my blade. I re-bend, I push. Then again, I come up. Then I pre-bend and I push. And then I come up, I turn, I pre-bend, and I enter my last outside edge. And that's when I dive inside of the circle again, increasing the lean inside of the circle, so my blade covers more curve than previously, helping me to end up perpendicular with the long wall, allowing me to start 
next part.